While people are mad at me, uh, President Trump endorsed and supported Kevin McCarthy. Jim Jordan endorsed, supported, voted for, and nominated Kevin McCarthy. Marjorie Taylor Greene is now trying to tamp down conservative anger at her, including this. I will not be taught vows and loyalty, commitment from a whore. People that are, you know, overly mad at me, I shouldn't be your punching bag. Be, be very clear-eyed about, about what this is, and I'll continue to prove exactly who I am. And who she is, according to a growing number of Republicans, is normal. The normalization and whitewashing of Green is everywhere. Fox News host Howard Kurtz recently asked Green about her previous support for QAnon, but Kurtz was gentle and framed the question as a criticism of Democrats. The Democrats stripped you of your committee assignments after you right. were elected. That was raw politics. Mm -hmm. But in fairness, didn't you also say around that period that you had been a follower of QAnon conspiracy theories and you had rethought this and you were no longer uh, influenced by the group? Well, like a lot of people today, I had easily gotten sucked into some things I'd seen on the Internet, um, but that was dealt with quickly early on. I never campaigned on those things. Now, conservative writer torches the right for normalizing Marjorie Taylor Greene. She is drawn to hatred. Columnist Mona Chera noted that Greene has gone from being described as a cancer in the GOP by Mitch McConnell to being seen as instrumental in helping establishment figure Kevin McCarthy defeat the fringe of the party and win the House speakership. Sharon writes it was just five years ago when the bad internet sucked her in and forced her to believe that Obama was a secret Muslim, that the Parkland shooting and the St. Hook murders in the Las Vegas massacre were all false flag operations, that Bill and Hillary Clinton had a hand in killing John F. Kennedy Jr., that 9-11 was an inside job, that a California wildfire was caused by lasers beamed from space and controlled by a prominent Jewish banking family with connections to powerful Democrats, and that Hillary Clinton had murdered a child in order to use her blood for a satanic ritual. More recently, last year, Sharon points out that Green spoke at a conference sponsored by white nationalist Nick Fuentes. Green has a disordered personality. As a grown adult, she chased a teenager who had survived the Parkland school shooting down the street, harassing and berating him. She is drawn to hatred as a moth to a flame. She is the poison that courses through the veins of parts of the right, the vicious reality-challenged right. If she is to be normalized by the GOP, it is the party, not she, that has changed. Indeed, no sooner had Kevin McCarthy been elected speaker that Green rushed to his side, where they posed for a photo. By all accounts, Marjorie Taylor Green is now being described as a key ally to the new Speaker of the U.S. House. Green is promoting herself as a serious figure and something of a mainstream politician. Yes, at least for many Republicans and conservative media organizations, Marjorie Taylor Greene and mainstream are now in the same sentence. Think about that. That's amazing. The blotting out of Greene's past and the purification of her sins will undoubtedly go on for a while. When somebody acts as insane and hateful as Marjorie Taylor Greene has the past few years, a metamorphosis is not going to happen overnight or be accepted very quickly. Still, Greene and her Republican Party are trying to convince all of us that she has changed and that the conservative bomb thrower from Georgia is not the whining, crazy, inarticulate lunatic previously thought. Whether this is window dressing or not, this is what passes for transformation in the Republican Party. Beware. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.